But in a relationship, correct, it's a partnership. Yes, right. You and me, we're together. Since when? You know what I'm saying. The thing that's going to be tricky here is that it's going to be very tempting to use AI as a weapon. It's going to be very tempting. In fact, it will be used as a weapon. Um. So the the on the the on ramp to serious AI. The danger is going to be more humans using it against each other. I think most likely that'll be the danger. Yeah. Now did it ever gets. This is a crazy picture. You in your underwear with a tiger on a chain. That is that is one of the. That's this, the that is right like, there. That's you at peak crazy. Yeah, insane. Yeah. yeah. Tom, what was going through my mind? <laughs> yeah. I plan on dying with zero money. There you so go. at some point, I'm going to have to spend all of it fucking anyways. And I'd rather spend it in my 30s than in my 60s. And I'm not leaving anything for my kids, well, or at least for my son, if I have one. Right. My, my daughter will, will get stuff. There you go. Um, but Wait, why, why the daughter, not the son? Because men need to earn their own money. Like mm -hmm. a man who doesn't earn his own money is just like... Men, when women get money handed, or like when when women come from wealthy families, I don't... Of course, you know, sometimes there's there's some exceptions here and there, but I find that women that come from wealthy families, a lot of times are some of the best people on earth. They're very cultured and they're still very sweet. Like if they were raised the right way, they're yeah, still very like, respectful. Men who come from wealthy families, of course, there's, you know, there's, um, uh, there's people who don't fall under this category, but in general, like, I don't really find they're men of sub uh, substance. You know, like they just don't have that like thing about them. You tell me about this pit. I mean, you just so said this, this is, is the, the beginning of this idea. Yes. Where we're going to build tunnels under LA to help funnel traffic better. And they go, yes. and they just go, okay. That, but that, we, we've joked around about this in the podcast before. To like, what other person can go to the people that run the city and go, hey, uh, I'm going to dig some holes on the ground and put some tunnels in there. And they go, oh, yeah, okay. Nothing wrong with a hole in the ground. But it's. Uh, people dig holes in the ground all the time. But, but men are liars because men are in constant competition with other men. And they have to find a way to be competitive. And the easiest way to be competitive is to lie. If you can sit there and convince a woman that you're rich because you bought her a hundred dollar or a hundred pound meal, that's what you're going to do. It's a lot easier than becoming rich. And women believe it. And as long as women are stupid enough to believe it, men are dishonest enough to lie. And more, the other thing that I've been suggesting to people, and I also believe this, is that, and I think that the guys that have come to talk to me, especially the ones that have had real, real rough lives, they really understand this. If you don't get your act together and you let yourself slide, then what kind of moves in to take the place of what you could have been is something that's really not good at all. So it's not only that if you're living a, like a dissolute life that you're not aiming at anything positive and so you don't have any real meaning and you're subsumed by anxiety and all of that and hopelessness, but something kind of hellish moves in there too to, to occupy that place. And so then you end up making things worse. Different. I started being a master of what I was scared of. I was scared of my mind. And I became a, literally a master of that mind. And that's what now, from now on, it sets me apart from most people. I started diving into that. I was parented in a really, and my circumstances put me in a place where I just don't think anybody owes me anything. Not society, not, not the government, not people I do nice things for. That's a killer. Yeah, People struggle so much when they do something nice for somebody, they think that person owes them something. I'm I'm desperately trying to give more value to every person I ever cross paths with and never ask for anything in return. That is literally the framework of my life. My great hope is that I can bring more value to people than they bring to me and I'm never in a dire situation where I ever have to ask for anything in return. Um, there's purity in physical pursuits, right? Because it doesn't matter what your social status is. It doesn't matter how people perceive you. When it, when it comes down to how long can you stay in that pool, when it comes down to how far can you run, right. when it comes down to how much can you push yourself past the part where you want to quit, right. how far can you keep going? There's a purity in that, that it, it, it dissolves social order, all that bullshit, all the what people People think about you goes out the window. It's what who who are you right now? That's right. Who are you right now? That's a true statement, man. And I look at it as, as, as psychological warfare, and that's where I started learning that that life is one big psychological warfare that you play on yourself. You play on yourself, man. The most important conversation I ever had my with, is, is with myself, and the shit I was telling myself was so fucked up. It was so wrong. It was so misguided, and other people start to write that dialogue for you also. 
and it starts to be what you say to yourself every single day. 